Now Thomas 265, we're moving in. Maintain perimeter. 265 received that. SRG are ready to roll. I need us to secure the area. That's like they shoot the bugger. You two go back to the main gate. Nick and I'll take the track around the back. Right. Mount Thomas 265 to Mount Thomas 207. Cooper, you and the McKinley maintain position. Don't let anybody approach. We don't want this lunatic killing anybody else. Air 490 BKC. We've still got a bystander on the hill. Cooper, you deal with that. Excuse me, mate. If you're in a dangerous situation down here, you'll have to clear out. Please. Do you hear me? Harmless bystander, hey? Scary. Look around you. It's scary. I'll tell you what the scary thing is. That guy was around here for two weeks before I you guys got onto it. Exactly. It was all done from Melbourne. We were only supposed to contain the area before the soggies got there. Yeah, but he'd already mutilated two girls. The next one could have been from around Chris, here. Chris, we got the guy, all right? Yeah, we didn't even know he was here. He was supposed to be in Border Town. Yeah, I don't know how you're going to track those guys down, put an electric collar on them or something. Oh, there is one way. Yeah, micro trip in the neck. It's the only way. It's certainly done bomb film. <laughs> no, I was thinking about profiling. Oh, is that that profiling. American psychological thing? Is that for real? It's not bad. I did a seminar on it. Well, that'll prove invaluable, I'm sure. Well, here's cheers to our local heroes. Yeah. 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 Well, I still yeah. say you should have waited for this time. Well, he didn't know who it was. We all thought it's he was lucky doing the caravan. He's lucky he didn't get his full head blown. Oh, come on. Here's the Cooper. Yes, yes. all right. Here's the Cooper. Cheers. Look at the colours. Cheers. 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 Here you go, Teresa. Oh, you've seen the front page. One for Adam Scrapbook. Oh, yes, I've oh, seen yeah. it. Famous front line. page is fine. Front page doesn't worry me in the slightest. Yeah, it's the editorial. They're complaining that we were too slow. Yeah, look, even when we catch someone, it's never good enough, is it? Never. Despite the good work by police in apprehending this extremely violent criminal, Mount Thomas residents are quite properly concerned about the time it took to do so. Time during which they were potentially exposed to grave risk. What reassurances do they have that the same situation just goes on? On and on and on, yeah. You can't win, can you? You know, you you should write a letter to the editor, bossing it stuck into the young guy's background. I mean, he fitted the profile for a psychopath by the time he was ten years old. You read one article in Police Life, you probably just peek at the pictures, and all of a sudden you're an expert. Yep. Torturing dogs, lighting fires. I bet he wet his bed and was well, lots hopeless of people. at school. No, you can't yeah, write the psychology bed. officer a total joke, though, because if we had have had the information about Dan no, beforehand, we could have stopped him doing what he did to those little girls. <laughs> yeah, but I used to fry ants with a magnifying glass. Yes, we all did that as kids, but you wouldn't do it now, though, would you, eh? Would you? No. no. Guess what? Uh, boss, can I put this on the front counter? Oh, yes, of course. I'll buy one off you, later. Yeah, uh, actually, there's one on your desk already. Five dollars. Five dollars? It's for research into cancer. Yeah, I know what it's for. Five. Uh, a five again, then? Look, yeah. I bought you this flower because I... I... Yeah, ignore him, we'll do. It's not a joke. They might find some way of stopping it before it even starts. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Like you care. Boss, there's a fire at the primary school. It'll be quite safe now. All right. Thanks, Bear. No worries. The room was empty at the time. Adam, this is Marina Armstrong, the class teacher. Marina, this is Constable Cooper. Hi. Hi. Oh, this is awful. I'm terrified of fires. There was a fire at my last school. They're following you around, are they? Don't say that. The whole school burnt down. Do you have any idea how this one started? No, but this is the second in a month. There was another fire? Yeah, over here. Why didn't anyone tell us about that? Well, we put it out before it did any damage, so I don't suppose they bothered. But now someone must be coming in and lighting them. Well, it's usually one of the kids. None of my kids would do anything like this. Well, where were they at the time? Outside, doing phys ed. All of them? Yeah, well, most of the time. Some of them were excused at various times. That's normal. OK, which ones were they? Nathan. Uh, he forgot his hat, which is unusual because it's usually stuck to his head. So there's a profile for you. It's not a profile, it's an image. Oh, now it's an image, is it? Sorry? <laughs> no, nothing. Uh, and Corey, that's the one with the grin. He went to the toilet twice. And, and Julian. 
Julian I sent to get a basketball from the storeroom. He's the key monitor. Right. Is that all of them? Yeah. Hi, Andy. Can I still dash? Hi, Mecca. No, Fiona. Yes, she's my niece. Are you here because of the fire? Yes, we are. Can I help? I think we'll manage, thanks. Got your ticket to the Daffodil Banquet yet? Not now, Fiona. Off you go. Okay. They're only five bucks! I should have picked up on the name. Yeah, she used to go to flat going, but then when it closed down, she came here. Right. I haven't been here very long myself, so I haven't really made all the connections yet. She's quite a bright little spark. Oh, yes. She was the other one who's excused from his ed. She had to go to the toilet, too. Now, Nathan, Miss Armstrong sent you in to get your cap, is that right? And where was your cap? On the pegs. And where are the pegs? Outside the classroom. OK, now, did you go into the classroom? No, did you see anyone else in the classroom? Nathan, do you like to light fires? Dad lets me light the incinerator sometimes. That's fun, isn't it? Mm. Did you light the fire in the classroom? Look, it's OK, mate. We just have to ask these sorts of questions, you know. Is that your cap? You going to put it on for us? Hey, Julian. Hi. Did Miss Armstrong excuse you from PE today? Yeah. Where'd you go? Nowhere. You must have gone somewhere. It's all right, we just need to know, that's all. Julian, the storeroom to get the other basketball because Corey made the brown one go flat. Well, apparently it took you some time to come back with the new ball, so uh, we're just wondering what took you so long. The year sevens. Did they give you a hard time again? They shot me in the storeroom. We're having a little trouble with the bigger kids. We're not very self-assertive. I know who did it. Yeah, who's that? Mecca, now is not the time for one of your stories. This is very serious and you have to tell the truth, OK? I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. You're not actually in court, Fiona, as much as I'm sure you'd like to be. Mecca, did you actually see someone light the fires? Well, no, but he's always setting fire to things. He burned down his own cubby. He keeps dead animals. He's really weird. OK, who are we talking about? Corey, Constable Cooper is trying to ask you a question. Mate, hang in there with me for a minute, OK? Now, when you went to the toilet... Miss gave me permission, didn't you, miss? I know that, mate. I'm not worried about that now. What I'm worried about is, did you go into the classroom? You can't. You have to go straight to the toilet back again. Yeah, I know that. But did you? You're not allowed. Look, we know you're not allowed, but we're wondering, did you just go into the classroom anyway? Mate, don't just worry about the, the hat. Just the question, Corey. What? Did you go into the classroom? Why would I? That's what we're trying to figure <laughs> out. I need you to go to the toilet. Mate, do you like to light fires? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah? All right, did you light the fire in the classroom? No. All right, can you empty your pockets for me, please? A magnifying glass. It's hardly damning evidence, is yeah, it? Yeah, but there's the profile. I mean, you know, he's not exactly the brightest kid in the school and he likes to light fires. There could be other stuff. You're talking about a ten-year-old kid. Yeah, and that is the perfect time to use the techniques. You nip them in the bud. Exactly. All right, all right. How do we go about this, pray tell? Well, ask her. Mate, I've already told you that I'm an expert. Well, you're the nearest thing we've got. Not that I hold out any great expectations. <laughs> you look like a perfectly normal kid to me. Well, he's got two key indicators. Well, that's very impressive, I'm sure, but it doesn't make him into a budding psychopath. Two fires doesn't make a serial arson. Um, why don't we have a chat to the father? Yes, why don't you? Mr Fitzgerald, would you like to come through, please? We know where this came from. Would you, Corey, you can stay there for a second. Yeah, come on, mate, I'll look after you. You're a McKinley, aren't you? Yes, Dash McKinley. Corey doesn't need you to look after him. You McKinleys have done enough already. Let's go. OK, Corey, uh, this is Sergeant Schultz. Hey, I look forward to reading your report. Got your spies in the school now, have you? We're acting on information received, Mr Fitzgerald. Yeah, and I know where it came from. Fiona McKinley. I know why you listen to her. My boy did not light those fires in the school. But he did burn his cubby down, isn't that true? No. 
Oh, caught fire, that's all. It was when an was accident this? a few weeks ago. How'd it happen? I don't know. Him and his mates fooling around with matches, I suppose. Smoking, probably. Which mates were these? His mates? Kids he plays with after school. And their names are? Julian, Morgan, Nathan sometimes. Nathan Hampton? Yeah. Why aren't you talking to them? Why pick on Corey? Because we've already talked to them, sir. Mr Fitzgerald, are there any uh, particular stresses at home at the moment? Only me having to do everything since his mother left. Mm -hmm. And how is Corey dealing with that? He handles it. Well, he's not wetting the bed or anything? Oh, not you two. Don't try coming on with Mr all... Fitzgerald, we're not coming on with anything. We just want to find out what's happened. I've had enough of that psychological crap. Right, so you've obviously been involved in some sort of counselling about this? Corey's had a few problems concentrating, which I'm sure you already know, seeing as you're so well informed. The school sent us to a psychologist, but that doesn't mean he lit those fires. No, we know that, but this is a process of elimination, OK? Now, that magnifying glass we found in Corey's pocket could have been used to light fires. Or it could have been used to magnify things. Come on, Corey. Hi. All right. Thank you for coming in. What do you think? Oh, single father. There's obviously been some problems there. But it hardly adds up to anything pathological. He'd have to be doing things like uh, bedwetting or torturing animals, not making friends at school. What is he? Well, he seems to relate to his friends pretty well, actually. Do you ask him about the other stuff? Yeah, but we started down that path and he just clammed up, didn't I he? I told you, mate. People get a whiff of this psychiatrist stuff, they jack right up. They don't mind their kid being a criminal, they don't want to be a psychopath. Yeah, there's no point in taking this thing too far, it's going to be counterproductive. Well, if it is him, maybe this will scare him off. And while you're profiling the whole of the juvenile population of Mount Thomas, the culprit's going along his merry way. What if this kid is a psychopath? There is no proof of that, Cooper. Yeah, but boss, that nut Adam Court started out this way, you know, he was lighting fires, that kind of thing. Excuse me, we don't even know if there is a psychopath. All we know is there's been two fires. Two fires that could have been lit separately by two different people. That last fire was arson. It's just been confirmed. OK, someone's arson about it. Yeah, what have we been telling you? There's a grinner out there. No. We do not know that and we are not going to jump to conclusions. Until we get some more evidence, we treat this as a normal investigation. Here, here. Can I help you, babe? Uh, I'm Lucy Morgan. I'm on the parents' committee at the school. It's about these fires. So you're Julian's mother? Well, yes. I've been talking to some of the other parents and... we want to know how safe it is to leave our kids at school. Well, I imagine it's perfectly safe. But there's some crazy idiot trying to burn the place down. There's no reason to believe that, Mrs Morgan. It could just as easily be a kid's prank that's got out of hand. Or not. But I appreciate your concern. We'll be keeping a visible police presence at the school over the next few days and that's probably all it'll take. Well, I hope you're right. It's very upsetting for everyone. Excuse me, uh, Just a second, Dawn. Trust us, Mrs Morgan. Yes. All right. Well, I could feel better. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Boss. What is it? There's been another fire. I guess we're... Well, you're lucky the whole place didn't burn down, huh? Well, that's what someone wants, lighting two fires in the space of a day. I've seen this before. Mm. The last school at Marina was at burn down too. Is that right? Carrying some kind of jinx. No. <laughs> you reckon we should have another chat to Corey? I think you'd have another go. Where's Corey now? His dad dropped him off and he turned around and went home again. Car here. Someone must be home. PJ, what is this? Charming, isn't it? What now, Mr. Fitzgerald? How you going? I'm Senior Detective Hashim. You've already met Senior Constable Doyle. We're wondering if we can have a quick chat, to Corey. No, you can't. I told you before. There's been another fire at the school. Oh, so you rushed straight round here? Well, you can't talk to him because he's not here. Well, he's not at the school either. You know where he is? He ran away. Why would he do that? Oh, why do you think? Mr Fitzgerald! We only need a minute, sir. No. Hey mate, oi. Where you off to, eh? Where you off to? 
I'll tell you why he came home. Because he's being persecuted by you, by the teachers, no, by the kids no, at school. we're not persecuting anyone, Mr Fitzgerald. This is just a normal police inquiry. <laughs> normal? Sir, we understand how distressing this must be for you, but the best way you can help Corey is by helping us clear it up. Oh, you've already made up your minds. No, 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 we haven't. Sir, arson is a very serious offence and people do get upset. Now, if we can clear Corey, then everybody will just lay off him. Corey, mate, uh, where were you this afternoon when you were supposed to be at school? He was at home with no, me. No, I'd like Corey to answer things, mate. And I'm telling you, he was at home with me. So what are you going to do about that? Charge me with looking after my own son. Well, Corey, come look what you've been doing here. Oh, it's very good. Uh, listen, you want to tell me what the story is with all of the, uh, the animals you've got hanging near the front door of your house? What? Those carcasses? They're just roadkills, things he finds on the road. So they're yours, are they, mate? Yes. He found some of them, I found some of them. Ah, oh, right. It's a family thing, is it? A couple of ducks and birds. What's the big deal? And you stuff these dead animals, do you, Mr Fitzgerald? It's called taxidermy. Yes. It's a hobby. <laughs> you ever thought of taking up bird watching? Oh, I mean... Look, if you're trying to say he's a maniac, you're going to have to say I'm a maniac too. But it is an alibi, unless you're saying that the father's lying. Is that what you're saying? No, 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 we're not saying that. But he could be. Yeah, well, I reckon he is. The point being, if he's telling the truth, then Corey's off the hook because he wasn't at school when the fire was lit. Well, not that fire, anyway. What, so you're saying we've got more than one arsonist? Well, yeah, you know what kids are like. They latch on to the same idea at the same time. God, yeah, do you remember all those Tamagotchis? Yeah, yeah that's right. The latest craze might be uh, lighting fires, so there could be more than one school kid. Oh, well, yeah. Right, a school full of them. Terrific. I quit. McKinley, your school liaison officer, I want you to go over to the school and have a serious talk to them about the dangers of arson. Ben. When do you think? Now. I'll go. Oh, you're a terrier, aren't you, Cooper? Well, it wouldn't hurt to have another look at those kids. There you are. Adam will go. You're all right, Cooper. It's all yours. And you can go too. You obviously need the practice. So, who can tell me what fire is? Maker, why don't you just let someone else have a go for a change? You caught that guy that cut um, those girls, did you? Yeah, yeah no. but don't worry about that yes. now, mate. All right? How'd you catch him? With difficulty. Did he have any body parts with him? I mean, a good friend and a bad enemy. That's right. And what do we call someone who goes around... What did he around... do to them? Did he cut them up? Sick. Mate, watch the front. Firebugs or arsonists? Like Corey. Fiona. Is he in jail? No, he's at home. And it's very wrong to go around accusing someone just because you think they've done something. So unless you really know, you keep quiet. Is that clear? Don't you want any help? Yes, of course we do. We need everybody's help. But only if you really know something. Then you come and tell us. But he had really mad eyes. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, but anything we've got through to them. Nope. Excuse me. Have you found out who's responsible for lighting these fires yet? And you are? Lorraine Hampton, Nathan's mother. Well, Mrs. Hampton, all I can tell you at this stage is that we're doing the best we can, OK? Well, what about the Fitzgerald boy? Mum, you're not supposed to say that. What about him? Have you arrested him yet? Lorraine, I don't think that's an appropriate question. We should cancel the daffodil banquet. No! It's not safe. All the kids group together like that. If that maniac lights another fire, someone could be killed. The banquet's going ahead. Well, I'm not alone in this. Parents are frightened. But it's all planned. Everybody's going to be there. Surely you wouldn't cancel it. It's not really up to us to say. Corey's definitely the popular bet. Yeah, except for the small problem that he wasn't there when the last fire was lit. There's something weird about that teacher too, don't you reckon? I mean, the way she carried on when Nathan's mother suggested cancelling the banquet. Marina's put in a lot of hard work. It's for a good cause. Yeah, I still reckon she was twitchy. Well, last school she was at burned down. Are you saying that we've got a teacher trying to burn down the school? It's always her class. Well, they oh. go mad, you know. I had a maths teacher. He went mad. Yeah, well, he was teaching you, yeah, wasn't he? Was. he? Old Mr Pike. He had this very peculiar shoulder movement. It was like... <laughs> that was the clue, you see. We knew something was oh, wrong with him long before they did anything about it. Please, Schultz. Well, they say it's sexual with arsonists. Yeah, apparently they get some sort of a thrill out of it. Well, yeah. you don't have to be an arsonist to get a thrill from a fire. Do you want to hear this? No, you just have a nice rug, a bottle yeah, of Chianti. Oh, oh, shut up. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 I don't know that. Uh, that was but... Marina Armstrong. Somebody has been to her house and killed and mutilated her cat. He didn't come to greet me when I got home. I found him. And what time was that? Um, after school, four o'clock. He didn't come when I... Marina, did you notice anybody uh, hanging around out the front, maybe? No, nobody. Like nothing out of the ordinary in the street? No. 
Let me just get tea board. Have a look at this. Marina, would you mind grabbing us something that we can carry him in, please? Yeah. Oh, sure. I hope anyone will be so sick. And the neighbours didn't see or hear anything. I mean, you'd think they would have heard something. The poor Moggy must have screamed the house down. Don't kid yourself. Nobody ever hears anything, do they? Could you establish how long it had been there before Marina found it? Oh, it was probably done within the last couple of hours. So it wasn't one of the kids. They were all still at school. Except Corey. Yeah, he was at home. Supposedly. I mean, I still reckon it was him. Where's your evidence? Well, it's obvious. I mean, he's got the profile. He had the opportunity. He's also got an alibi. This has gone far enough. Mr Fitzgerald? Well, I thought the police were supposed to protect people. How about protecting my son from this? I hold you people personally responsible. Here we go, they're stuck up all around town. So, do something. Well, it's obviously the work of some kid. Yeah, I wonder who. You have no right to accuse my niece, Mr Fitzgerald. And you've got no right to accuse my son. We haven't accused him of anything. That's enough, thank you, Constable. Well, where do people get the idea it's all right to put out rubbish like As this? As I said, it's obviously the work of a child. No, you don't even care. I assure you we do. And you encourage it? We don't encourage this sort of thing, I can assure you. And oh, we will do everything we can to find side. out who's responsible. Look, this is not the way we want things done. Yeah, sure. Well, it looks like a photocopy, and the school's got a photocopier. Well, so has every other business in Mount Thomas McKinley, including us. Well, someone's trying to tell us something about Corey. Well, the real offender's trying to avoid the spotlight by keeping it on Corey. It's a bit cluey for a kid, don't you think? Well, no, it's not if you've paraded Corey through here as your number one suspect. Well, we've asked the kids to let us know if they found out anything, so... And this could be someone's way of doing it. Well, a pretty creative way of doing it. Why don't they just tell their parents on the quiet? By the way, I want the artiste found. Um, maybe Marina can identify some of the handiwork for us. Sorry. Would you say it could have been done by somebody in your class's age group? Yeah, it's definitely no one older than my kids, but surely you're not trying to say that... Well, they are the most likely to be involved. But everyone in the school knows about Corey being under suspicion. And kids get ideas sometimes. Have you found out who did that to my cat? Uh, well, we're still waiting on the autopsy report from the vet. Marina, do you have any idea if anybody would want to do this to you? No. All right, thanks for coming in. Actually, Nathan sometimes brings along computer paper like this. It's scrap from his mother's work, I think. So Nathan has access to this paper at home at school, yeah? Yes, I gave some paper like this to Nathan to take to school. The school is always asking for it. What did you do with the paper, Nathan? I gave some to Corey and Julie, and they use it for drawing, and I put the rest in the recycling bin. Good boy. Why are you worrying about this? The fires are the important thing. You should be talking to that Fitzgerald boy. Not my Nathan. Nathan, did you do this poster? No. No? OK, would you mind emptying your pockets? Does he have to do this? I'm sure Nathan doesn't mind doing that for us, do you? If it'll get us out of here faster. Good boy, just uh, chuck it on the table, mate. Lovely. Ah, what have we got there? Chewing gum, chopper chopsticks. Very exciting. Hey, satisfied? Can we go now? Come on. Hang about. What do we got here? Gee, it's not a toy, is it? So you think that was used on the cat? Well, it's sharp enough. I'll see what forensic have to say, eh? Where would a nine-year-old get a weapon like that? You read the papers lately? You, uh, you found it in the schoolyard. Are you sure about that? Yeah. When was this? Playtime. Yeah, and where in the yard exactly? In the grass over near the fence. Which fence? The one that got burned? Yeah. Mate, were you there when the fence caught fire? No. Nathan, you want to um, tell us why you didn't go and tell one of your teachers that you'd found the knife? You were going to, weren't you, darling? I wanted to keep it. Why? What for? What do you need a knife for? What are you going to do it? It means he was curious about it. You know what boys are like. Nathan? There's psychos out there. I thought I might need it. Oh, so you were scared of these psychos, were you? Of course he is. We all are. OK. Now, you, you realise, Nathan, that, that that knife is what we call a regulated weapon. Which means? Which means it's against the law. You understand? Yes. He didn't know. He's just a boy. 
Well, it's not Nathan's yep. printing. Well, Bobby's disguised his hand right. with devious Thanks, to me. Yep, so yeah. Uh, that was Bev, the school secretary. She said they try to keep a check on who uses the photocopier, but it'd be pretty easy for someone to slip in while the office is unattended, so... So somebody could actually piggyback this with some of the other work they're doing so Bev wouldn't notice. Yep, Bev give you a list, Coop. Yes, she said the teachers often send the kids to do it. She said, Macca, Julian, uh, Nathan's mother Lorraine is on it. She was running off uh, the menus for the banquet. Well, it's not Macca. It wouldn't be. Well, it might be worth having another chat to Julian. Yep, I'm on it. What about Lorraine Hampton? What about her? Oh, she's quick to point the finger at Cora, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, well, everybody is. Do you think she'd do something like this to throw the scent off, maybe? Well, she is very protective. Oh, it might be worth having a chat to her while she's here. That's right, the whole school's going to be under suspicion. Well? Well, I was satisfied that Nathan didn't do the poster. I told you. So, that's it. Can we go? Well, Nathan can, but I'd like to have a chat with you if you don't mind. Nathan, do we come wait outside for Mum? Good boy. Oi, don't forget Joe. Here you go. OK, you want to go sit down over there at my desk? Mum won't be long. So, what do you want to do? You want to read a bit of Police Life, do you? Can I? Yeah, mate, it's fantastic stuff. <laughs> t ball rang. He's finished the autopsy on the cat. He found traces of barbiturates in its blood. He thinks it's just ordinary sleeping pills. Which wouldn't be really that hard for a kid to get hold of. I've rung a couple of chemists to see you might be getting prescriptions. Could be a long list. Well, it's not as long as you think. And look who's on it. Mrs Hampton, uh, would you be able to tell us, please, if you have any sleeping tablets around the house at all? Why? It's information that uh, may help us. I don't take sleeping tablets. Have you ever? I don't need sleeping pills. You sure about that? Months ago, but I had a prescription from the doctor. Mm. Would there be any left, uh, say, in a medicine cabinet? No. Well, I'm pretty sure there wouldn't be any. What difference does it make? Well, let's say if there were, would Nathan know where to find them? What's it got to do what with do you... my boy? Even if there were any pills, Nathan wouldn't take them. He has no use for them. Thank you. She's not telling the truth. You think she's protecting the boy? Mm -hmm. Well, she could be embarrassed, and some people don't want it known that they're on medication. Senior Sergeant, would you mind telling me what's going on? Quite all right, Mrs. Morgan. We just need some more help with our inquiries, that's all. Come on in. Mm, come on through. Thank you. Isn't that awful? Mm, it's not very nice, is it? Julian, did you use the school photocopier this afternoon? Miss Armstrong asked me to. Oh, she often asks you to do things like that, doesn't she? What job was that? Homework sheets. Did you copy anything else while you're there? No. Julian, did you do this poster? Do you know who did? Mate, listen, it, it doesn't matter if you did or you didn't. What we need to know is why. I didn't. Mrs Morgan, I'm, I'm sorry if this sounds intrusive, but I understand that you have a prescription filled at the chemist for sleeping tablets. Well, uh, he, yes, I, I have trouble sleeping sometimes. But... Julian, do you know where Miss Armstrong lives? Yeah. Have you been there recently, the last couple of days? What's this about? Have you? No. Hey, who would have thought that uh, insomnia would have been so rife with Matamas Primary? McKinley, uh, would your niece be home yet? Oh, well, sometimes she catches. What do you want to talk to Macca for? Why has Charlie been added to this list? No McKinley's ever had trouble sleeping. Well, that must be another Charlie McKinley, must be. I'll talk to her. No, you won't. She's only a kid. Well, unfortunately, some kids turn out to be serial killers. Oh, that'll be enough, thank you, Cooper. McKinley, I can appreciate your concern, but we're going to need to talk to her. Look, it's probably going to be nothing. I mean, half the parents are Matt Thomas on that list. Mac is not a psycho. For heaven's sake, nobody's suggesting that she is, McKinley. Cooper, off you go. Well, can I go with him? No, you can't. But it'll make things easier. McKinley, you have got a conflict of interest a mile. We've got... All right, go. Just shut up about it. Right. It's 
to Mecca. What's happening? Uh, she wants a glass of water. Maggie. Oh, Dash. Look, she's admitted to drawing the posters of Corey and sticking them up all over the place. I'm, I'm sorry. But apparently, Auntie Constable Dash said at the school that the police needed as much help as they could get. Now, I don't think she was being cruel. I just don't think she thought it through. You know what she's like. You want to take this to her? I don't think so. Well, the uh, Mac is out. The poster thing's separate from the fires and the cat. Which means that we can probably eliminate Julian too because he's really only connected to the posters. So who does that leave? Corey and Nathan. Oh, Nathan and his knife. And Corey and his creatures. The problem with this profile business is that the profile fits too many suspects. Yeah, but that's only supposed to be a guide. We still have to do the police I work. I realise that, do I? Yeah, Nash, you right? I'm fine. Look, if you're uh, worrying about your niece, I don't think you should be bothered. Nothing's going to happen to her. The boss will just give her a bit of a kick up the bum. That'll be the end of it. Yeah, not for Corey. Oh, he'll be all right. Nothing's going to happen to him. She probably did it because she was keen on him. Oh, you reckon? Well, you know, there's all this action happening. He's in the middle of it. Everyone's talking about him. She's a bit like her aunt. You know, a bit of a pun of the bum. Huh. Too much imagination, not enough thought. Well, it doesn't excuse what she did. No, it doesn't. But, I mean, you might sort of see some sense in what she did. Try to, anyway. She'll be right, she'll go out of it. Here, did. Oh, you coming to the pub? Oh, no, thanks, Dad. She's got some work to do here. I'll be there in a sec. All right, no worries. It all helps. Why not? You never know. The cure for cancer might be just around the corner. Hope so. See ya. Bye. See ya. She is so disappointed about Mecca and those posters. You know, I still reckon she was trying to tell us something about Corey. You will not let this go, will you? Well, you're the house shrink. Adam, how many times do I have to tell you I am not an expert? You, Maggie, you cannot ignore the traits. Adam. OK, fair enough. You're on the wrong wavelength about this profiling stuff. It is not the great white hope. I never said it was, but if it's there, prevention is better than cure. If it is there, then it has to be done properly. It, the whole picture has to be taken into account. Otherwise, it is worse than a waste of time. You end up focusing on the wrong people. Uh, you just ask Corey Fitzgerald about it. All right, I will. I just can't help thinking about that poor animal. Oh, yeah, it's disgusting. Well, it wouldn't have meant anything to whoever did it. I mean, that's how they can do that stuff, you know. That's right. Do you really think it was a kid from the school? I oh, can't tell you that, Chris. Huh. Give us some blood. Hey, 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 just laugh. Hey, 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 pretty funny, eh? What if it was there? Settle down, guys. Right. You can't blame the poor man. All those stupid rumours about his kid. Everyone knows you dragged him in for questioning. We didn't, we didn't drag, drag him. him. We had a couple of kids. We needed I know you're just doing your job. It's just rough on the kid, that's all I'm saying. Not that it's done much good, because everyone's looking over their shoulders still. Don't tell me you're going to start complaining now because we're trying to be effective. Well, I don't know about effective. The school's cancelled the daffodil banquet. You're kidding me. Too dangerous, they reckon. So they're just going to chuck in the towel. The parents are meeting as we speak. It's getting out of hand. Come on. So, really, what I'm saying is that, yes, we do have a problem, but, yes, we are putting all our resources into dealing with it. So let's not blow it out of proportion. Out of proportion? There's someone out there trying to kill our children. Hang on a minute. We've got a spate of small fires. And the cat. Don't forget about the cat. I'm not forgetting about the cat. If I could just say something, and I am as, as upset as anybody, I do not think that we should cancel this fundraiser. The children have been preparing for it for weeks, and they're going to be really disappointed. Will they be safe? Look, I worry about letting Nathan go to school at all. All this talk about a psycho. I will give you my word. We want more than your word. We want protection. Is Corey going? Yeah. Why wouldn't he? Look, if it'll make you feel any better, I can come too. No, yeah, will that help? There you are. Constable McKinley will be there. Does that make you feel any more secure? Well, I'll come too. Well, that'll be enough. I'd like to be there. Where's this sudden enthusiasm for additional duty coming from, Cooper? I just want to see if they live up to their profiles, that's all. Fine, OK, come well, I don't know about their profiles, but I suppose they'd hardly like to be able to light any fires with you two watching them. And two pairs of eyes are better than one, so... Hey, Curry, why'd you start the fly for Hey! Us? Hey! <laughs> so, what was that? Oh, 
Before we go. Are you sure? No, he's not in at the banquet. Look, we're outside in the yard. We can't see him anywhere. What do you want us to do? All right, he might have gone home. Uh, but you stay there, keep looking. Could you go to Corey Fitzgerald, see if he's home? Oi! What's your problem? We're looking for Corey. Why? What's he supposed to have done there? Nothing as far as I know, but there's some concern as to where he is. Do you know? Of course I know where he is. He's up at the school. No, I just dropped him off. He was there, now he's gone. We thought he might have come back here. We'll soon find out. Corey! Corey! Gerald, he's not here. Anywhere else he might have gone, mate's place? Uh, he hangs around with Julian a fair bit. Julian Morgan. All right, thank you. I'm coming too. He's not at the Fitzgerald house. Doyle's on her way over the mall. Let's see if he's turned up there. What about Julian? Is he with you? No, he's not here either, boss. Sorry, I, I was asleep. Mrs. Morgan, we're looking for Corey. Have you seen him? Corey. You know Corey? He's a mate of Julian's. Oh, uh, um, Corey. No, no, I haven't seen him. Or maybe Julian has. I don't know. I'll ask him. You mind if we come in? What's up, mate? What are you doing out here? Sorry, I haven't had time to tidy up today. You know, it gets away from you. Julian! I kept him home from that banquet thing today. He, he wanted to go, but I didn't want him up at that school and it wasn't safe. You feeling bad about something? You can tell me if you want to. They all tease me. What do they say? They all keep on saying I'm psycho. Well, mate, I mean, that's pretty stupid, isn't it? Don't you think? Not much more sort of hanging around in here. Come on, let's go. Taking it into his head to go up there. He should have woken me before he took off like that. Julian isn't at home either. His mother thinks he's at the school. Well, he's definitely not here. Is Cooper back yet? No, not yet. Then I'd find him. Doyle reckons his mother is definitely on sleeping tablets and she doesn't like the look of some of the artwork in the kids' bedroom. Receive that. isn't like that. Senior Constable Doyle said it looked like there'd been a fire in his bedroom at home too, is that right? Well, yeah, yeah, yes, but that was an accident. Have you got any idea where Julian might have run off to? Ah, how's young Corey? He's all right, they won't keep him in for observation though. What about you, how are you? Oh, I burnt my hand, but um, it was a bit of a scare. I didn't think anyone was going to turn up. I got there, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. eventually. I'm trying to the highway. The past thinks of kerosene, so does he. Hey, 
you what, when I got a glimpse of that room, I knew something wasn't quite right. The with mother it. must have known. Oh, well, maybe not. Come on, Dash. Oh, well, you never know with kids these days. They have all sorts of weird stuff in their room. You should see my cousin's room. It's more likely that the mother didn't want to admit it even to herself and she was doping herself up in order to cope. Well, if she didn't know, she sure put on a good act. Interview suspended at 7, 16 p.m. Why, Julian? Why? Why? Julian's age is, uh, is, is going to be a big factor when this comes to court. Now, they're going to be looking at psychological counselling and other forms of treatment, not just a punishment. I don't like all that psychological stuff. Well, unfortunately, sometimes it's necessary. Don't talk to me about psychologists. His father went to psychologists. What good did that do him? I, I just want us to be normal. You okay to go on? Interview recommenced at 7.17pm. Now, Julian, why did you light those fires? Because I can. Who was right about the profile? You were. Oh, look, it's all very sad, really. Poor kid. Poor kid, he couldn't care less what he's done. Classic. You were not right, Cooper. As I recall it, you were going hard at the other kid to start with, and you very nearly got yourself and an innocent child barbecue. <laughs> you were lucky, that's all. Now, I feel a, a bullseye coming oh. off. Oh. 